as possible after that one. Uh, Our next team is on the ice representing the United States. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Avery Denny and Brandon Fraser. Denny and Fraser having missed last season because, as you can see, a knee brace on her right had a knee injury there. Uh, pretty incredible, both of them with roller skating backgrounds, right? Hitting the ice in 2004. Both of them. Yeah. Didn't know both. It's unusual. In fact, it's his parents who are the... Uh, were national roller skating champions. Yeah. Tara Lipinski, an American, won the Olympic Games. She came from roller skating as well. And you can usually see a distinctive style in the jumps with the free leg as it wraps around because the roller skates are so wide with the wheels that it leaves an impression on how they become figure skaters. Watch for that. Pointed toes. Basically, completely the opposite of what we usually see from people who go from roller skating to figure skating. I know, weird, eh? A little sloppy, but job done. Might have been a tiny bit under rotated. We'll, we'll look at that in the replays to see. Slow motion. <laughs> the nemesis of figure skaters. <laughs> the slow motion. The slow mo camera. Yeah. <laughs> Only a single by Haven there, and you will share your mistakes with your partner. They go to the lowest denominator on side-by-side -side jumps, and so only the, uh, only a single axle will be recorded. They slowed down on the way into that jump they tremendously. Really Very cautious. jungle gym up there. And here the microphone's catching Brandon being in charge of the change of timing for the spins. Yelling out to his partner. it now. <laughs> the modern version. Yeah. up oh. there. Haven has a way of selling every move like a mini celebration. Her yes. face is lit up when she performs. Another unusual position. 
smart coaching, smart decisions with this team. Lots of bonbons in this program. <laughs> A solid performance by the Americans for the home crowd. Haven Denny, Brandon Frazier. In fact, their first Grand Prix medal came in 2014. It was a silver. It was at Skate America. And that year, it too was also held in Chicago. Maybe, maybe lightning can strike twice for them here. Although I'm sure they're hoping for gold. Oh, look at the face. Again, so with like <laughs> Charlie and Julianne, you see an ease between them, mm -hmm. a natural, they're not trying to be something they're not. Um, but the quality for them, I believe, is when Haven's up in the air. Yes. Boy, she knows how to sell a product up there, and doesn't he she? He turns really well. See her? I was looking at her face. Uh -huh. I didn't see his feet. How the sculpture <laughs> just makes you want to stand and pose. And uh, this pair here from America, Denny and Frazier, did a lot of posing in this one. Oh, they did some nice things, too. As we said, her feet were beautiful in the air. Unusual for a roller skater, where you don't often see those quite tight, closed feet. But um, I think it's right here. They do triple sal, and then double toe. And see, she doesn't step onto her toe, because the roller skaters use the rubber stopper mm -hmm. to do the toe jumps. And so it's not natural to do that on ice and actually use a pick when you've got one. But wow, she used her face all the way through. Yeah, she really did. Really accentuating the lifts. And actually, it's interesting, the beautiful music which is playing in the background so you can still hear their program, but I would love to see Brandon in something less figure skating and more masculine. And because I feel like his style is sort of straightforward and clean, and I don't think that shirt did anything for him. I, I think it, you know, like just, Butch up. Butch up and carry the girl. <laughs> well, they're going to need 130.03 to take the lead from the Canadians. They will not get it, but they'll be behind them. So 125.36. That's actually a personal best as well for them. 